<laughs> All right, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I hope that whether you're in one of the universes where you're alone or one of those universes where you're in deep love, you've had a lovely uh, day. And that you enjoyed my little story about the quantum nature of love and all its many forms. Um, this month, I've been mostly working on getting the actors to actually able to act so that they're able to perform instructions as given to them by the script. Um, at the time of the last demo, the characters could basically just wave when clicked on, and now their move, mouth moves along with the sound that they're generating, producing some kind of lip sync. Uh, it's not good enough, the more needs to be done, but it works reasonably well already, actually. Um, the character's also able to uh, focus their attention on a game object. So once the script tells them to look at a particular thing, another character for instance, it moves the virtual object that represents their focus of attention to the location of that object. And then we mix animations of like the, the spine turning from left to right and up and down and the head turning to left to right and up and down. We mix those together in such a way as to get the character to look at the object that they, represents their fo focus of attention and their eyes cascade, cascade around as they look at it and they are now able to point as well as they do so. So I can have the characters reaching for a, an object as I hold it just out of their reach and they, they get quite frustrated and angry, I guess. I've been also working on a script editor that lets me write a script which is going to branch and, and split and weave in its timelines in the way that, uh, that you know the real universe does but a typical script does not. So we've got a HTML page which keeps the track of all the different scenes in the script and the links between them and how you get from one to the other. The script itself has actions built into it so that I can instruct the camera to move around. Uh, certainly for the flat screen display like most of you would have probably seen on YouTube rather than the VR version, uh, but even in the VR version you're still going to need to be able to like zoom the player character from outside the ship to inside the ship or, or move him from scene to scene so all that needs to be able to do inside the script and, and it now can. One of the things that those characters can do of course is that they can make a noise and flap their lips in, in time with the noise and while that noise is playing we need to also do some different animations uh, depending on the times at, at particular times so for instance when they get to the part in the, in the dialogue when they need to shrug we need to be able to say this is the time that we would like you to shrug please to the animation controller and we do that by marking the wavs up in audacity if you press ctrl b you can highlight any particular selected area that you want and just type a name for it these files then get read in by my script interpreter and that triggers the animations at the time that the markers say to do so. Music. Uh, the music that's in this scene was written by a robot. Uh, given the scene length and a style and a time to when put the crescendo of the music, it's produced that music. You can find that robot at Duke Deck. Um, the final music in, in the final game is not going to be able to be done that way unless they're going to have some ridiculous fast version of their algorithm that can work in real time in less than 20 milliseconds to update a VR, which seems unlikely. You'll have noticed that there are two voices in the test script that I did today. Um, the Brummy for Soy is a bit of a uh, Birmingham, Birmingham clad, and also a little bit of a Welsh for, for Coral there. Um, they were both me, and I am terrible at it, as you just heard. So I would prefer it was you. If you want to help out, then please do let me know. Send an email with a wav of you reading a few lines from your favourite book, and I'll see if I can find a part. Perhaps you'll even be one of the five main characters that I'm going to be using over and over again in this first year or so of uh, development. So please do send me a wav, and, and hopefully we can get some better voices for next time. Over the next month, I expect to be working on... Well, Simon, the character Simon and the character Anchi Sung, uh, Anchi Sun and Simon, they both need to be completely redone, so I'll probably do that. Uh, the spaceship itself still needs a lot of work in modelling and texturing, so I shall do some of that. And then hopefully we'll have a new test scene in March, April-ish. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.